The Nigeria-China diaspora group has called for an end to killings and maltreatment of Nigerians in China. The group took to the streets of Abuja for a peaceful protest, calling on the federal government to prevail on its Chinese counterpart to accord Nigerians living and resident in China the same respect and dignity being accorded to Chinese businessmen in Nigeria. Leader of the group, Godwin Ehochi, while condemning the recent killing of a Nigerian pastor, Joseph Mwadweze, by the Chinese police, says his debt is one too many. The group leader wants the Chinese government to investigate and punish those complicit in the killings. <laughs> It is on record that Chinese, that Nigeria bought most Chinese goods for Africa. Therefore, it is expected that many Nigerians should be in China for contact and businesses. Chinese government is expected to treat Nigerians in China as partners with love and the way Chinese citizens are treated in Nigeria with love and dignity. Our local markets are flooded with Chinese products. They produce their goods in China, shipped to Nigeria, and sold in our local market by themselves, thereby depriving a lot of Nigerians means of livelihood. Yet we live in peace with the same Chinese. Whereas Chinese cannot accord Nigerians the same opportunity in China, where is our bilateral agreements? Nigeria and China are hardly employed by Chinese, but here in Nigeria, the Chinese are even rewarded with government contracts. Yet Nigerians are humanized on the street of China as people from nowhere. Most Chinese in Nigeria don't equally invest here, don't employ our youth, and don't pay taxes. Yet Nigerians in China fulfill all these obligations there. The aim of this protest letter is to tell the Chinese authority to stop all forms of maltreatment against Nigerians in China and to accord Nigerians the same freedom Chinese enjoy in Nigeria. Recently, a Nigerian pastor, Joseph Ogenewa Jose, was murdered in the hands of the Chinese police during a smart visa raid using sophisticated electric gadgets, which paralyzed his heart and dropped him dead. This is indeed one out of the too many deaths of Nigerians in the Chinese custody, which are not reported. Suffice to say that the visa overstay in China and all over the world is not a capital punishment, and no Nigerian should be made to pay the supreme price for that in China.